The enemies of Islam have never ever ceased plotting against this precious Muslim nation. Why? In order to inject in it, induce in it very deeply the poison, the disease, the sickness of disbelief, deviation and moral degradation, hoping to corrupt the values, the beliefs of the sons and daughters of Islam, as well as seeking very, very strongly to remove the book of the Almighty Lord, the uncreated word of Allah Ta'ala, the noble Quran, the word, the criteria of Islam, to remove it as well as the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to remove both of these two sources which we Muslims hold onto with a strong rope they want to remove it as being our source of legislation as being our source of guidance in the various Islamic lands O oh, Muslims who are awake O oh, Muslims who are alert O oh, Muslims who are following up the news worldwide that the Muslims today are going through a state of hardship, a state of distress from the daily bloodshed in Palestine, from the continued US bombing in Afghanistan, from the attacks of Muslims in India, in Kashmir, Chechnya, those in Bosnia and Kosovo. Those in the Philippines and Indonesia, those that were in Burma, those that were in the world, when the Muslims were, they attacked them. The attacks are continuing today. The recent US terror attacks on the innocent Iraqis, and likewise the harassment on the Muslims, the peaceful, righteous Muslims in the West and beyond. Is this, this the plot? is the main plot. However, the plot today, the war today, the focus today is not only on military warfare. They are attacking the Muslims in a secret, subtle way, whereby the attacked does not perceive himself being attacked. He becomes controlled on a leash without himself even knowing he's being attacked. And this is known in Arabic as al ghazwi al-Fikri, translated, rendered as being the ideological attack, a modern term, which refers to a set of efforts undertaken by a particular nation in order to conquer, to influence another nation and when it influences it or conquers it, it steers that nation, it steers those people in a particular course of direction because of this attack. And this, dear brothers and sisters, is more deadly, more dangerous than military warfare, since it aims at what? At secrecy. Since it aims, its objectives are very subtle. And the eventual result of this onslaught is what? That the attack nation, the attack people, us Muslims, we are diseased in our thoughts, in our minds, in our way of living, loving what the enemy wants us to love, hating what the enemy wants us to hate. This is the attack. There's no gun in front of you, but they have beaten and dominated your mind. They have poisoned you induced in you poison and this war this type of attack takes place by means of school curriculums general, ed general education tv internet vaccinations fashion publications media theories philosophies the replacement of Allah's law with man-made law the replacement of arabic with other languages western languages these channels, the enemies are trying to deviate the Muslims from their belief in order to be attached to only that which the enemy 
grows at it. You know, my seamless just by talking about it. And whoever says that is poisoned. Is himself poisoned. Because they do not want you to know this.